Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media, and today I have a review of Leotrix's Round 3 EP. I'll be the first to say that I am not the biggest Leotrix fan, especially not anything really in the Never Say Die Black label record. All of the kind of rhythm noise genre producers, I'm just not generally a fan of that kind of music. But every time there's a new project, I feel like I need to do my due diligence and talk about it. So here we are. And I must say, I didn't absolutely hate this project. A little spoiler alert there. Uh, it's not something I would listen to on a regular basis, but it's still nothing that's super bad. Check this out with All Minus is the first track of this EP and easily my least favorite cut. I understand that the rhythm noise genre of music is supposed to be really loud, aggressive, and in your face, but this is just too much for me. It doesn't sound very pleasing at all to my ears. I'm definitely in the group of people that doesn't really understand this music, and I almost sound like an old person at this point because I listen to a lot of music similar to this. I'm a huge EDM head, so I listen to a lot of electronic music, but this, this is just too far for me. There is times where Leotrix sounds like a 12 year old who went into a garage band timeline, took all of the electronic and robotic sounds and just threw them all together. That's what this track really sounds like to me. I really don't find a ton of joy in this track. Cyber Goth is actually a bit of a middle ground for me where it kind of keeps those rough, dirty, gritty noise rhythm sounds <laughs> all across the track, but also has its own kind of musical conversation intertwined in between. Rather than sounding like a jumbled mess, Leatrix adds some nice dichotomy between a high like synth hits and the low bass lines and goes back and forth and actually sounds like it's trying to be something. It makes the track a lot more dynamic to me and not sounding just like noise. I was pretty surprised with the intro to Endless Pain. It's got this liquid trap kind of intro to it that doesn't sound like anything else in this project. The drop here is pretty interesting to me. It's got this kind of minimalistic bass line intro to the actual drop section that I actually kind of enjoy. It's got a bit of a shorter drop, but in that sense for this track, I think it kind of works. The heavily distorted second drop is a bit of a turnoff for me, but I did enjoy the more melodic section in between the two drops. Wish For Finite is a quick and dirty final track for this EP and takes a definitely more baseline heavy approach to the rhythm genre. This is my favorite track on the project, and I think Leotrix actually approached it pretty well. This track feels like a two minute slap of the face after three kind of jabs on the right, feels like a big left hook that comes in and kind of just takes you by surprise. This is something that I would actually really enjoy listening to at a festival or club setting. But just like this review, this project was pretty short. It's only 10 minutes long and four tracks. And I feel like that's kind of a trope that Never Say Die Black label producers and EP makers kind of are going in. I know that Rhythm has this kind of sense of being a quick, dirty hit, but I mean, the EPs and track lists don't necessarily need to be that. They can be more fleshed out and drawn out and made a lot longer. I can't help but feel the incompleteness for this project. It feels like, again, this wasn't really what was intended to go out. Maybe it's just the sounds and how they don't really click well with me, but all of these tracks feel like whips to me. I know that rhythm and noise can sound very tasteful, but to me, none of these tracks are that. I will say though, compared to his Collapse EP back in 2020, I am pleasantly surprised how much more I like this over his other songs. I kind of found myself actually jamming to some of the tracks at some sections and being like, okay, I could, I can hear myself listening to this maybe a couple more times, and especially again in a club or festival setting. But yeah, the two biggest problems I have with this project is the feeling of incompleteness and just the lack of musical motifs. When I'm reminded of a young me going back into GarageBand and just making the worst songs ever, I feel like that's not a very positive memory to associate with a project. Leotrix have been finding some more and better ground for me in the last two tracks, but after those four minutes were over, I kind of quickly forgot about them. I'm actually excited to see more of what Leotrix is going to put out in the future. At this pace and at this record, solely over time, I guess I will start to really enjoy his stuff. But I guess this project just really isn't for me. This genre isn't necessarily for me. So take this whole review with a grain of salt. But that is going to conclude my review. It is Leo Trix's Round 3 EP, and it is going to score a 4. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Bowtide Media. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you love rhythm? Do you love noise? Do you love NSD Black Label? Let me know. Please don't hate me too much for hating on this project. It just doesn't sit well with me. But again, I've been Bowtide Media. I will see you guys in another video.